Today I want to introduce to you the Rainios Pocket TV and also compare it against the Xreos Beam 1. This is the first Beam, not the newest Beam Pro, but the Beam Original and tell you guys which one might be better for you and why so. So starting off with the Rainio. Now, I actually haven't seen anybody do a review of this. So it seems to me like a lot of people don't know about this. And even on the device itself, there is nowhere on it it says Rainio. But if you go on Rainio's website, you will see it up there. And also if you go on Rainio's Amazon website, you would also see it on this. So what exactly is this Pocket TV? Well, it's exactly as it sounds. Pocket TV essentially is an Android TV that you can put in your pocket. So you know how you have your Google Home TV? Well, you have it here, but for the XR glasses that Rainio makes. On a regular Android TV, it comes with a, uh, the, the big uh, HDMI, so you can't directly plug your glasses into that. I've made a video before on how to do that. So if you want to do it, if you don't want to buy this and you want to kind of like, you know, get around it, you can. But this is a much, much easier, uh, easier way of connecting your glasses to Android TV. And it's as simple as taking your uh, Rainio glasses and simply plugging in the end to this part right here and you will instantly get our Google TV. Now, the thing is, on this right here, right, you have this port right here to connect your glasses, and then you have this port right here to charge it, which means that you can use the, the device at the same time while charging it. That way you don't have to, that way you don't run out of battery. Now, when it's not plugged in, you get about five and a half hours of play time. So, uh, that's pretty good, but once again, this is a full-on Android TV. It's exactly what you will get when you connect your Google TV to your TV. You get a whole thing. Like, I'm not talking about half of it. No, you get a full experience of Google TV on you, in your pocket. So here's my TV right here with the Google TV. And here's the glasses with the Google TV. It's, it's really hard to show. But as you can see, it's virtually identical. So you got my regular TV, and then you have the glasses, the TV right here, exactly the same. As far as physical features on the device, you get this port right here, which is to increase your you know, storage to about two, uh, two ter terabyte, which means you can upload movies into it. You get your up and down button right here, your navigation button. You get your charge indication, you get your power button. Over here, you get your, uh, what is this? Yeah, you get your back, you get your microphone, which means instead of uh, using the keyboard to search, you can just press this and say, and you know, say open YouTube, open ESPN or something like that. Over here, you get your home button, you get your up and down volume, and here you get your quick assistant or quick button. So you can program this button right here to open any app, so if, let's say, you like to use Tubi or you like to use Cracker or Fire, whatever it is, you can just program this button right here to automatically open the app whenever you connect it. And then over here you have your Prime button and you have your YouTube. So it is an incredible device. Um, I love the fact that you get the full on Android TV experience on this. Now compared to the extra beam, with the extra beam, you don't get a full on Android suit. It is an Android based device, but it's not your traditional Android uh, device as it doesn't have um, it doesn't have a Play Store. This one right here has Play Store. It has Google's Play Store. So it has everything Google on it, which means that your Netflix, your Prime all work in full HD on this device right here. All, all apps that would typically run on a Google TV would run on this app right here, whereas with the Xreal Beam, not all of them work. For example, you have a way to download Netflix and Prime on this, but with Netflix and Prime, you don't get the full resolution because of DRM. DRM limits the amount of resolution you can get, so you essentially have a less quality when you're watching media content on this as you would with this. 
Now, so what, so what makes this special? What, why should you buy this at all? Well, first of all, let me show you, the, let me tell you guys about the buttons on this. Here you have a, a back button, you have a selection button, you have your left, right, up, down, you have your charge indication light right here, you have a fan and a power on. With the Rookie TV, you don't have a fan, but it, you know, that's, you don't need a fan on that one. And over here, you have your mode button. I almost forgot to mention, but another important thing to know is that with your extra beam, you can actually connect in one port, you connect your glasses, and in the other port, you can actually connect your computer or you can connect your devices such as your uh, PlayStation, your Nintendo Switch. You can connect it to the other end and it will project into this device and you can still have it anchored. So which means you can have your game playing in full resolution looking both ways and that display will stay uh, in exactly the way you want it to be. Now the max resolution on the glasses is 1080p so that's all you're going to get with, you know, with the wire connected anyways. But the point is that you can connect other displays into this and it will project into your glasses. Whereas with this, the second port is only for charging. That's it. You can't, you can't connect anything else. So you can't connect your Nintendo Switch or anything like that onto this uh, right here. It just wouldn't work. Another thing is that you can cast to both devices. So you can actually do wirelessly. With this, you can cast Miracast, um, Wi-Fi Direct. You can use a bunch of options to cast onto this. But with this, you can only do Google Cast. So which means that you can't project your computer onto this. You can't project uh, other things wirelessly onto this. But what you can do is you can use Google's Cast the way Google Cast works is it's not exactly screen mirroring, but we can take, for example, you can be watching YouTube on your phone and you can just cast it onto this device right here and you can continue. It's not screen mirroring. There's a, there's a difference between Google Cast and screen mirroring, but it does do that. Whereas this one is a full on cast. At the end of the day, it's going to be based on what your usage is. One other thing is, like I was mentioning, this thing has a fan. That fan can be a little bit annoying. Whereas this one doesn't have a fan. Now with these two devices, you can watch Netflix, Prime, ESPN, and all that stuff, but your experience is gonna be different. And both of them actually have their strengths and weaknesses. This one, you can run the full on Android uh, Google TV suit on this, and you get the full quality and everything. With this, you can't run the full on Android uh, apps on this. I mean, you, you, can, you can kind of, but you get, for example, like I was saying, you get a less quality with Netflix and Prime. But with this, you get something called spatial modes. Whereas with this, you don't get spatial mode. When you put your glasses into this one right here, you get the screen projected. There is no mode, there is nothing. Basically, every way you put your head, you take your head, that's where you, that's what you will see. So there is no spatial mode that gives you that TV experience. Whereas with this, you can increase the size of the, the screen, you can reduce the size of the screen, you can make it farther from you, bring it uh, closer to you. The home app is, uh, the home experience is kind of like a 3D. Um, you can actually watch 3D movies on this. Uh, and the biggest thing, of course, is the ability to have a spatial mode. And with this, you can turn into an air mouse to select uh, things on your screen. Whereas with this one, you have a keypad. Now the keypad on this is very soft and feels good. Whereas on this, it's just very clicky and feels cheap. I, I really did not like the keypads on this at all. It bothers me so much. But anyways, so you have these two devices. And like I said, Rainio made this for their XR devices. But, and even on the website, it says not recommended for any, uh, for other XR glasses. But I have plugged in my x and Rookie into this glasses, right, into this device right here. And they work perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, you can't tell any difference when you connect those other glasses to this. So this will work with any other XR glasses. This also works, ironically, this also works with other XR glasses, but you don't get that special feature. That special feature is what allows you to anchor the screen and you can look away and that screen will stay in one place. But if you have other glasses connected to this, then the screen will follow you, you know, everywhere you go. So if you have uh, extra glasses uh, 
and you care about spatial feature, I would probably go with this. If you don't care about the spatial feature, I would hands down go with this. This is a much better device in the, in the fact that you get a full on Android experience. Alternatively, you could also go with the Beam Pro. The Beam Pro is $200. This is $179. With this, you also get a full on Android device, two camera, it can record in 3D. You basically get a whole other phone for $200 and you can watch Netflix Prime in full videos on this. But this is a whole different device by itself, so I'm just not gonna talk too much about this. As far as these two devices go, since they are cheaper, I can't even tell you which one to go which one to go with it's all dependent on what you want but anyways thank you guys for watching in my next videos i'm going to be doing uh, i'm going to be answering all the questions about this uh extra beam what it does uh and pretty much all the questions that you guys have been asking me i'm going to answer it all thank you guys for watching catch you in the next one peace